Hi everyone, my name is Ida Ogre Kanto. I'm from Greatest Card Design Concept. This is actually my WhatsApp contact. You can reach me on this number, you can call me, okay? Uh, these are the list of softwares which you have covered on our YouTube channel. They are very, very, very much available. Uh, the tutorials are very much available on our YouTube channel. Uh, down the description of this video, you can find the link of the channel there. Go there and keep yourself busy. Okay, we have covered architectural designs, electrical and mechanical service drawings, structural designs, road designs and water designs, okay? All are uh, in one channel. We now teach all of this um, uh, uh, softwares on our telegram platform where we give you the software, we guide you on how to install it and how to crack it on your system yourself, okay? Just for a token and we guide you uh through the process of design until you attain mastery for 40 days good now uh today i'm going to be showing you how to actually uh design your isolated part okay uh how to come about your design of your isolated part using proto detail okay now let's jump right into it good now this is once you open um you create a new project okay um going to name this uh so part okay mind you you cannot space on on proto structure there is no spacing when trying to create uh give uh, your project a name okay so i mostly use underscore you just type hold on shift key and press your underscore okay good now uh, click on ok now i'm going to be using the s8110 now i'm going to start by creating a new drawing now this is actually my part fitting okay i'll just click on that now you have to look at this diagram on this other side okay now you can see the chamfer height 200 millimeter the form wall clearance 50 okay now um first of all this is a footing i can i can rename it to to something else that i can actually interpret more okay instead of using f101 I can rename it to something. Let's see, I name it. Okay. Oh, sorry. I can make it P1. Okay. For example, you can see your LX, LY. Okay. This is. The LX, I can reduce that to let's say 1200, and I'll make this 1200 as well. Now, the depth of the footing, let's say, is 350, for example, and then the lean concrete, okay? The lean concrete that is. Um, Let's say I make it 50. That is the blinding, okay? Our blinding is 50. Um, let's say concrete cover. I'm going to leave it as it is. Eccentricity. Um, eccentricity at the XX. Um, I'm going to make it 600. column dimension okay uh, let's say we have a 230 by 230 column now you can see the column has actually been centralized this is the size of the column this chamfer you can
can make it zero if you don't want it. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Oh. But come to rebar. Concrete. Uh, this is characteristic strength of your concrete. 20, 25 is very much okay. Um, you can give it a color. Let's use this. Uh, the modulus of elasticity, the unit weight of concrete, all this by default. Uh, you know, we used BS8110. So uh, this is actually by default. So I would advise you not to touch this. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. Uh, design parameter. So. Don't click on. Okay. Now you can see uh, the characteristic strength of uh, the steel. We are using four ten. Okay. I'm gonna leave it as as it is. As 410 so everything here to based on BS8110 uh, that's how the, the population the, those are the parameters for it okay and then the diameters of our reinforcement bar that's our rebar um, I'm going to use Y12 and Y16 okay Now, be, be very, very, very um, cautious of uh, the reinforcement you actually select, okay? Because if I mistakenly select Y9 on this now, uh, the Prota structure may most likely even use Y9 for me in my design. So this, the software is very, very much sensitive. You knowing fully that Y9 can, is not even available on the market, okay? So you cannot get one nine on the mark in uh, in the market so uh, that's in Nigeria okay so uh, y12 y16 that is what I'm going to choose so don't check on any reinforcement you know that uh, you don't want your design to provide for you okay try as much as possible to check on the only reinforcement you would want this design to provide okay now I'm going to click on this So I can redesign this. Okay, I can tick this for it to show my top river outside the bed. I don't want that. So um, now you can see I can I can play with the the spacing here too as well. You can see it's at 200 uh, spacing, but okay, I can play with all that settings here. I can play with my my spacing here too as well. Now I'm going to click on OK. Now if I click, you can see that our design has actually been uh, provided. Okay, good. If you love what you're seeing, make sure that you actually like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Okay, subscribe to this channel. It's 100% free. Just click on that red button. Look for it down below uh, this video. you find uh, down below your screen. Uh, you find that red button just click on that red button and you have subscribed already it's hundred percent free and then uh, make sure that you click on the bell icon so as for you to always get a notification when I post videos I post videos like this on a weekly sometimes on a daily so as to encourage as many that wants to have a deep insight of uh, design okay now as you can see you can see that uh, our base entirely uh, is Y12, 7 Y12 at 200 spacing. Here we have 16 Y12 at 200 uh, spacing. Okay, now good. Here too, you can see what we have. All right, make sure that you ask DC and make sure that you stay blessed.